This video is about how to use a mag card reader to start and stop a timer in standard time. So we're basically taking a card like this, swiping once to start the timer, swiping again later to stop the timer. This is not about how to connect one of these to your computer. You'll have to do that. I've got three cards here that I've programmed. You can pick up these blank cards on the web, program them yourself, or use any existing employee badge or card. Any format works but I recommend not using credit cards because they will have the credit card number and expiration date embedded in them. So this is used for employee time and attendance, punch in, punch out, clock in, clock out, assembly line, uh, manufacturing, any time you need to take a card like this, swipe once to start the timer, swipe again to stop the timer. So let's go ahead and configure standard time to accept mag card reader input. Consider starting with Microsoft Word. You can scan each of your cards and see the internal encoding on those cards. You will see that each one starts with a percent symbol and ends with a question mark, but you should be able to pick out the actual employee names within these records. And that's all we really need. Any employee badge or card will work. Again, don't use credit cards because the card and expiration date will be visible here. So let's go ahead and switch over to standard time and see how to configure it to accept these cards. First thing we'll do in standard time is click the time log tab and then press the F4 key to open up the barcode window. The first thing you're probably asking is, wait, barcode? No, I'm using mag card reader. Uh, well, bear with me, everything will make sense here in a minute. Let's start by clicking the barcode prefixes button and then go to the tools menu and choose new barcode prefix. Over here in the name field, we will paste in the employee name that you saw from Microsoft Word. You can then go down here and choose the actual standard time user that will map to this card. The next thing you'll need to do is either choose a project and a category or a task. This is default information that we need to start the timer. So I've chosen a project, I choose a task. And so now I've set up everything I need to do so that standard time will automatically start the timer when I swipe this card. Click OK, grab a card, and swipe. The timer has started. You can see that over in the time log tab, and you also see it listed here. This listing will stay for about 60 seconds, and if the user swipes multiple times, it's OK. The timer will remain running. And then after 60 seconds, you'll see this listing go away. Presumably, the user then is off doing their work, whatever. They come back, they swipe again, and that will stop the timer. So this is intended to start the timer and then stop the timer for each swipe. Enough time has elapsed to allow that last swipe to drop off the list. During that time, I went into the barcode prefixes window and set up the other cards. You can see that I just took the text that I got from Microsoft Word and assigned a user, a project, task, and in some cases here, a category. It's very important that you do that. You have to associate this card with a standard time user. You also have to tell it which project and task or category to use to start the timer. If you don't provide that information, then standard time cannot start the timer. So now that I've got these set up, I can click OK and swipe. You can see that the timer has started. You look back in the time log, you see the records there, and you see these in the list. They'll remain for about 60 seconds, even though the timer remains running. So the user or employee can go off, do their work, come back later, and swipe again to stop the timer. So you swipe once to start. That will use the project and task that you've chosen. And you come back later, swipe again to stop. So it's really that easy. Hope that helps.